Hey, this is Dominic Pruitt with Storage Software ATS and IBM Sales and Distribution. And what I'm going to go ahead and cover today is uh, an update. Basically, I'm taking the SVC cluster at 5.109 and I'm going to update it to version 6.1.0.6, which is the current version of the 6.1 code. So let me go ahead and log into the cluster. And the first thing that I'm going to want to do is uh, upload the update utility, the update test utility. So I've already downloaded the update test utility that's on the IBM.com website. And I've also downloaded the 6.1.06 code. So I'm not going to go through that. So I go through upgrade software. And then what I want to do is I upload a file. And so the file that I want to pick is the upgrade test 5.9 or the latest one that you uh, you know download. All right, once I've uploaded it, I want to apply the software. And I confirm. And I want to start the software upgrade. Basically, it's just applying this file. So OK, so the software package was successfully installed. So let me go ahead and go to, let's go ahead and go to the PuTTY interface. So now, at 5.1, I actually have to log into the CLI in order to run the utility. SVC upgrade test. And let's see if it runs. OK, so it is running. So let's go ahead and type 6.1.0.7 just for fun. OK, well, it doesn't know about version 6.1.07, so let's go do 6. So I'm running version 5.9 of the software. Checked all the M disks, found zero errors, zero warnings. Great. So then I can go ahead and update the cluster. So if I go back into upgrade software and close the tab, upgrade software, upload file. So I want to upload the cluster code to version 6. So there's 6106. Say OK. So now we're uploading the uh, cluster code. So this is 300 megabytes of uh, data, so it'll take a little bit. OK, we're back. The 6106 software has been uploaded. Again, it's around 300 megabytes in size, so it took a little bit of time. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to apply the cluster software. So I'm going to go from 5.109 to version 6.106. Click Go. Do I want to do this? Confirm that I want to do this. And then do I want to start the upgrade? Yes, start the software upgrade. Seems to be thinking here for a bit. I'm guessing it's probably copying code from one node to the other. OK, so it's applying the software upgrade. And you'll see it here to 6.106, check upgrade status. And you'll see that the upgrade status, uh, it's currently at 5.109 for the cluster. And so it tells me when it was started. OK, I went over to the node section to where I'm looking at, we could work with nodes, nodes seeing what the, um, the current state is of the migration. And you'll see that node B is offline, and so it's being updated. All right, we're going to go ahead and check the upgrade status from 5.109 to 6.1.06. OK, I understand the risks. All right, and now here's what the new panel says. It says, uh, software upgrade status. The cluster has been upgraded to a version which contains the embedded management GUI, and both nodes are there. And so I can either do a refresh here, or I can launch the management GUI. And we'll go ahead and launch the management GUI. OK, I've launched the uh, SVC GUI. Now I'm actually pointing it straight to the cluster. So if you can see on the, uh, on the URL, I'm 
HTTPS and then the cluster address. I'm no longer pointing to the SVC GUI, which was on 10.10.1.3. And then if I go ahead and bring that, I can type in my name, Dominic, and my password. I'm going to enable low graphics mode since I'm recording this using a remote desktop. And, you know, we're looking at the user interface here. The new version 6 user interface. So the upgrade from 5.109 to 6.106 and then it created the brand new user interface here and then I can actually look at all the objects that I had before. Volumes. So that's basically it. That's the uh, cluster upgrade. I can go back and actually take a look at the uh, system status here, SVC version 6.106. And then I can get you know, some of the attributes. Anyway, thanks a lot for joining. Catch you later. Bye.